Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to the third lecture of 3D Max tutorial course. Today in this lecture, we are going to start with the geometric shapes and the 2D shapes. So finally, we will, we will be able, in the end of this lecture, we will be able to do those things and how we did this 2D to 3D, we make it, and also how we make this 2D shapes into 3D. <clears throat> and, I, and also how I did this shape this one then also how I made a section with max as you can see here two section line so let's start with a new project I will get out from max no I won't save the project let's go to 3d max 2012 So as we said and also as we saying every time the first thing we have to start with is the units so customize unit setup system unit setup then I have to select which unit I, I prefer so I'm always prefer the meters so I choose meters okay then okay again here I will start working with perspective mode so alt and w to show up only the perspective screen so I will start with the box now I will make a box as we said clicking on the box from this panel so by the way how how can I hide or appear this panel so by clicking ctrl and x I could hide it ctrl x it will appear so I'll start with the box I clicked up on the box I'll make a box here as you can see right click to get out of the comment now this is my box as we said before W for the move comment X to hide it W to show it or X again so W for going to the move comment I will move it by Y axis or X axis but before I'm doing anything I will go to the parameters of this box so I'll go to modify here I have three parameters for the box length width and also height so I will decrease a little bit the length and also the height and oh, sorry the width now as I said to show the edge faces I have to click F4 from the keyboard so hit F4 then as you can see F4 to hide the edge F4 to show them so I clicked up F4 now I will go to the segments as we said we will increase the segments so here I'm increasing the the length segments and also the width segments and also the height segments so I did four segments only for the height now I will give it a comment which is the bend what does it do so bend comment I have to go here as we said this is the box I selected I go to modify then from modify here I go to this list then I click B I hit B from the keyboard so B it gives me bend comment or even I could search for it so where is bend this one now it's telling me which axis you want to control it so I will choose a Z axis for the vertical so Z axis now the angle I have to control it so I'm doing the angle like this or like this but let's let's first at the first we will hide the edge faces by hitting F4 from the keyboard F4 now I'll control the angle angle sorry I did it but there is a problem why it looks like this one two three four only it's not smooth as we said before the height segments is the solution for this problem so I have to go here on the box go back to the box I have something called height segments so I will click F4 as you can see one two three 
and the main one which is 4 so here 4 segments for the height when I increase this segments I will get the shape more smooth so I am increase it now as you can see here now I fix up my problem if I decrease it I make it 1 it will looks like this 2 like this 3 like this whenever I increase I get more smooth for the shape so always pay attention for the segments because it's everything so let's go back to the paint here clicking here so now i'm controlling the the angle for it now also i could control the y-axis which is here like this or like this and also i could control x axis which is like this as you can see here i could make a building like this now i have a building it's just need uh, an idea so here by the way now it's it's shaded so if i click f3 hitting f3 from the keyboard it will show us a wireframe which is only lines so f3 to show it as shaded or realistic f3 again to show it as a wireframe why I'm using this mood? Sometimes I have a very huge project on the 3D Max. So when I make it wireframe, it becomes more faster. Because as you know, the shaded, it make it more, I mean the size more. So let's delete, delete this box. Let's go to other comments. As we said now, we did a box. Let's hide the edge faces by hitting f4 from the keyboard look now i will go to the parameters of this box so select this box how i get out from the command right click as we said so if i'm clicking box but i don't want to draw anything so right click i get out from the command now i'll select the box i go to modify panel i have length for the box it's all by meters because i select the units by meters so how many meters i want it one meter for the length and also one meter for the width and let's say four meter for the height so i could now i get this box with the real dimension now let's go back to geometric shapes let's go to the cone and show up what is the parameters of it and how i how could how could i control it sorry so this is the cone I'm clicking on the cone one click drag then go up click again now drag also click so the cone is the parameters of cone is different from the box so why I'll go to the modify to show up the parameters for it so I have two radius here the first radius which is for the bottom here so the first radius number one for this for the bottom so as you can see here now i'm controlling the bottom by increasing and decreasing here the second radius for the top here so radius number two for this one and also as we said by meters and i have the heights here so i could control the height also as you can see and also I have segments for it so everything in 3d max has a segment so let's show up f4 the face edges so now I'm increasing the high segments the cap segments which is this one for the cap this one so when I increase up this segments now I'm increasing the segments for the cap and also I have something called the slice so what does it mean so slides which means the vertical lines so as you can see here when i increase the slides or decrease them so this is the segments for the vertical or the high segments but in cone there is nothing called high it called slides and also there is another option which is smooth if i deselect this one let's hide the edge faces f4 now if i select the smooth it's it looks smooth totally smooth if i deselect this one it won't look smooth as you can see here now so 
I prefer to click smooth every time because it's so nice, more nicer and beautiful. So it depends upon your project as you like. And let's go to other shape which is sphere. Sphere, everyone know what is sphere, so I will do it now. Clicking on the sphere, one click by the mouse, drag, then hit it, leave it. Right click to get out of the comment. Now we want to show the four screen by Alt and W because I have to explain something. So let's zoom in this window. As you can see here, I have the box here, the cone, then the sphere. Here the sphere, I have a parameters for it. What does those parameters? The radius, it has only one radius. So the radius, two meter, three meter, four meter, as I want. So I will make it three meter. I will select all this number. I made it three. Now it's three. So I have another thing, which is the segments. It means the segments for all the shape. So the standard of it is 32. So whenever I increase it, it become more smooth and it has more polygons so i'm always prefer, prefer 50 i don't know why but 50 i prefer it so also it has something hemisphere what does it mean it means i could like cut it so if i want to make a dome for the mosque or an islamic building or a house a dome for a house or a building so i could make it by this sphere so how can I control it exactly by the numbers? So now it's one or zero. I sorry zero. If I make it zero point five, which means half of it, so it will give me only half. Or zero point twenty five, it gives me to uh, seventy five percentage of it. Zero point seventy five, so it means cut seventy five percentage of this sphere. So now I'm cutting seventy five percentage of this sphere. So as it is. I'll make zero, I'll keep it as it is. Now I have another option, which is slice on. So what does it? Slice on, when I select it, as you can see here in the 3D mode, let's make it bigger a little bit. So here, I'll make it bigger. I'll zoom out this one a little bit. Now, as you can see here, slice from. So when I make it like this, as you can see, let's go to the top view mode. A little bit so as you can slice from now i get slice from like this so it's now it's calculated by the degrees so i could make it 45 degree see 45 now i have 45 degree or 180 which is mean which means the half half of it or 270 so as i want now slice two so either i go to the negative or positive quantity so as you can see here in the option and in the 3d also now i have another options which is a very important option what is it now base to pivot in the first lecture if you remember i explained those three axes they call it in 3d max pivot so the pivot they means those three axes x y z or the controller which I control the shape from it by it so if I select this one based on the pivot this shape won't be on the black line in the middle of black line will be the base of it on the black line as you can see here now I'll select it as you can see the difference here if I deselect it will become on the middle select the basement of the sphere will be on the black line which means the z axis this one z axis for up down <clears throat> and or zero point which is the zero point of everything so now for now i will keep it like this let's go to another uh, let's go to another shape which is geosphere this is the same geosphere sorry geosphere is the same for sphere but for the segments, the shape of it is different because it's geometric, like the realistic. If I want to make structure for something, for a dome, so I will use geosphere. Now I will go to geosphere, I will make it here, 
sorry i'll make it here let's zoom out now this is my geosphere as you notice here the segments of it is different from the segments of sphere see as you can see here they are different from this one i'm sorry so the geosphere it's realistic which is which is geometric spheres as it is so also it has many options rather than the first one which is the sphere so it has radius as we explained it before it has segments which is two segments i could increase them or decrease them so the segments as you can see here increase decrease and it has three style for the segment shape three style or three types as you could call it so tetra the first one which is this style but when i click on the tetra let's go back to the first mood which is the icosa or i don't know what they call it exactly now i have seven uh, segments now if i go to tetra the shape will be different so when i increase as you can see it's increasing from this point so this style called tetra the second style called octa so it's also different from the first one and the third one which is icosa this is style which is the standard for it so immediately when you make a geometric sphere here you could get you will get this style and also i have another option for it which is smooth as we said before and explain if i deselect the smooth the smooth it won't show up as a smooth uh, geometric shape if i select it it will be more smooth hemisphere so as i said before it gives me half of it and also base to pivot as i said it will the basement of this geometric shape will be on the black line here so i will select this base to pivot as you can see here now and that's it now i have another thing which is the cylinder so the cylinder everyone know what does it mean so this is my cylinder now i will give it a parameters so now let's go to show it more clearable from the side this is my this is my cylinder that i did it now so i could control the radius the radius i want the radius only half meter so 0 0.5 the height i want it four meters and also i have height segments slides and cap segments what they are so let's only zoom on from all these sides so now i'm zooming this one i will hit f4 to show up the edge faces now i will increase the high segments so those high segments and also the cap segments as i explained for as you can see here in this window which is this window so if i am increasing the cap segments in the top the cap of it so i'm increasing the segments here and the slides as i said before for the vertical or the height high segments so those now i have also a smooth option for it z to show it more clearable f4 i will hit f4 to hide the edge faces now if i'm selecting smooth if i'm deselect the smooth option i it will show up not smooth if i'm selecting smooth it will show as a smooth and also i have slice on option so when i select this one i could slice it as other shapes for sphere as when i explained it before so now i'm selecting slice on slice from so as you can see watch here see here it slice by the angle so i could control it 180 means the half or 270 or 45 degree so as i want and slice 2 is the same method now i did the last one which was the cylinder now i have another shape which is called cube cube so how can i make the tube 
click by the mouse drag then head the mouse make the i mean the radius number two because at the first time i did the radius number one now radius number two then click by the mouse to get the height so i did like this right click to get out of the comment i will go to the modify it has many options different from all other shapes so i have first radius number one which is mean the exterior radius as you can see here the exterior radius radius number two which which means the interior radius as you can see here and also it calculated by meters radius number uh, sorry the height for it as you can see here i could control the height and also i have the segments i will click f4 from the keyboard i have high segments cap segments as you can see here see cap segments for the tube i could make it like this or increase it on slides which means the vertical so when i give it only three slides it will be as a re or as a triangle so i'm increasing it to show it as a circle tube circular tube now i has also smooth just like the others and a slice on and a slice from slice from slice to is the same so i don't need to explain it again i have another geometric shape which is the torus now let's make it this one only one click by the mouse like this then just control the thickness of it so i'm doing it like this this one it looks like a tire for a car but actually it's not it has many options the first radius as we said the exterior radius the second radius for the thickness of it because it's a um, it's a torso so it has the radius and the radius for the thickness so i must show a section for it but now for now i will explain it as it is uh, this radius number two for the thickness radius number one for the total radius for it and i have also rotation what does it mean now let's only please uh, i will increase decrease the number of the segments i'm sorry I will decrease the number of slides for it so when i make rotation as you can see now how it does it rotate so this is the, the rotation in the in this geometric shape i have also twist which means doing it like this as you can see how it becomes if i'm heading f4 it becomes like this so uh, the twist i'll make it zero because I'll, i like it zero the segments whenever i increase the segments it become more smooth and also it has slides for it so whenever i increase or decrease the slides it will become more smooth by increasing it and less smoother by decrease the slides now it's ask me from here in this dialog square smooth where you want the smooth for everything all or for only the slides smooth or only for nothing nothing will be smooth or only for the segments so i'm always choosing all because it's the best result for it and also here i have slice so slice is just like this so as i said i will explain it now the radius number two for the thickness as you see here radius number one for for the total for the total radius for the circle so i will deselect the slice on i'll keep it as it is now let's go to another shape which is the pyramids i don't think that no one know don't know what it does it mean so those the pyramids how can i make it i by clicking on pyramids click by the mouse drag don't leave the mouse then go up now click again right click to get out of the comment now i will go to modify panel here i will go to the width of it 
which is the width for the basement and the depth also for the basement and also I have a height for it and it's all by meters why because I select the units from the customized customized unit setup it was meters I selected meters at the beginning before doing anything so it's all those units by meters so now also I have uh, segments for the pyramid so by clicking hitting a four from the keyboard I could show up the edge faces to make it more clearable so when I increase the width segments as you can see here so only from this side and that side when I increase the depth segments which is those sorry the depth segments so as you can see here from this side and this side also and also I have high segments for the heights that's it and I have another shape which is teapot this one we could make a tea with it <laughs> so teapot this one it has radius and segments so the segments for the total shape because it's already modeling by 3d max company or autodesk company so it has the radius for the total shape which is based on the basement of this teapot so the radius as you can see here and also i have a segments whenever i increase the segments i get the this teapot more smooth let's hide the each face faces by clicking f4 from the keyboard now if i'm increasing the segments it will be like something so traditional it's like this like alibaba teapot now it's one two three four two whatever i want so i make it 30 or 40 whatever now it telling me do the part of this teapot so it has four parts which is lead body handle and spot so the body if i deselect it it will hide the body so deselect the body it hides the body and it has also handle which is this one so it hides the handle if i select this one or if i'm selecting the spot it will hide this and also i have lid which is this one so this is the option for the teapot i have another thing which is plain this plane actually lack a ground for everything so i'm making now like a ground by the way you could change the color of any shape for example this shape which is the cone so i'm selecting the cone i'm going here to modify then from here change the color as you want so i'm always like the white color now also for the plane the same i'm selecting the plane then changing the color from here okay then for now uh actually this plane i'm always using the plane as a ground for all my projects that i ever did so why i'm using the plane because it has less uh, polygons than other shapes like box or anything else so i'm using it to give me a faster result in the rendering i will explain all those information later now the plane also it has parameters which is width and length and also the segments so i will control the length or the width and it's all by meters as we said the segments why i'm using segments for let's hide all those shapes i will delete them sorry um, now i'm selecting all the shapes by clicking l then select the plane i will deselect the plane only so now i'm deleting this those shapes by delete hitting delete from the keyboard now i'll select the plane i'll change the color of it i'll make it like a dark color which is like black why i did it like this i will make it up a little bit to make the segments clear now i will increase the number of segments which is the length segments width segments and also the scale which is this is nothing don't play with it also on the destiny so i will go to bend comment as we said from modify list i will hit b from the keyboard then i will go to 
to paint or as I said I could search it so where is paint this one is paint so I could control in the Z Z axis so when I increase this one I can't because it's a plane but by Y axis or X axis I could control it so Y axis it become like this or X axis which is like this or like this or I could also even control the direction of it so it's like now like this if I'm hiding the edge faces it will show up like this now it's so smooth but if I'm going back to plane then I decrease the number of segments it will be like this or I'm decreasing here so as you can see here now it's only two I'll make it shaded from here go to realistic and select shaded so now we are going to shade it I will decrease the number now it's one nothing happened two three four and so on so by paint now let's go to other shapes which is now I finish up those 3d shapes now let's go back control Z I'll delete up this plane I'll go to shapes which is 2d shapes and also I could make them 3d how I will explain them now now I'll go to line I could draw a line 2d line like other program by the way if you hit shift with the mouse so you could get a straight line if, I, if I'm leaving shift from the keyboard it became like this not straight shift if I'm clicking shift I get it like this so shift again shift again like this now I'm drawing a, ran a random line now if I came here I will click it will ask me here close SP line what does it mean it means I click on this point the starter point so do you want to close it it will become as a shape I will say yes I'll click yes so now it's as a shape I could make this shape 3d the entire area of it it will become like 3d how there is a comment in 3d max to make any 2d shape as a 3d shape so I will select this one I'll go to modify list so all my work will be from the modify list then I'll go here from the modifier list I will search for the extrude comment so now I'm searching extrude this one extrude I will give it amount here zero so whenever I increase this one and also it's calculated by meters it will give me the heights for it so I'm now increasing it so the height I want the height only five meters like this and also the segments for it it doesn't matter now let's go to other comment which is the rectangle now I did the rectangle it has also parameters which is the length and the width and the corner radius what does it mean it means like fillet comment in AutoCAD so this is a corner whenever I increase this one now it's zero so 90 degree when, when I increase this one it becomes like a curvature so as you can see here now if I make it zero it will become a straight corner which is 90 degree now I'm increasing it increasing it I give it a radius like this for all the corners so I could by the way make it 3d by another way I could make it 3d as we said extrude comment here or there's another comment I'll delete extrude by clicking here remove modifier from the stack click now I could make 3d but in a different way so how I'm selecting this one I'm going to modify list here it's already on modify I'll go to rendering I'll show up this list by clicking on the plus rendering enable and render enable in viewport so I enable the rendering 
so what should I do now I, I have to control the thickness for it so whenever I increase the thickness I make it more 3d decrease increase and also as I said before it's calculated by meters so when I make it one so it means the radius the thickness one meter like this I have another thing which is the ellipse which is this one as you can see here sorry I get this I have to get out of the comment going to ellipse after drawing it I will head right click I will go to modifier panel then deselect those two why I deselect them because I don't want to show up as a 3d so I'll draw again the ellipse as you can see here the ellipse is like an egg eggs so I could make it like this and also I could make 3d as this shape or 3d as this one as I explained before I will explain all those comments which is 3d extrude and rendering and bend on all other modifier list in different lecture now I'm just want to make it clear for you that's why I'm making uh, it as a 3d I have another comment which is circle so everyone know a circle and it has also modifier list which is the radius only because it's 2d I have another thing which is the uh, sorry which is the arc so it's, it's like this and I have donut it's like slender or such an issues and it has also by the way the curve which are the curve arc which is it has modifier list it has parameters which is the radius so I could increase the radius or decrease them and also from 2 so if I'm making this one uh, 30 360 sorry if I make it making it 300 360 it will show as it is 0 or 1 even 1 so I could control it like this now to so as we said it's calculated by degree so if I make it 36 degree uh, I mean sorry 360 degree it will show up as a circle or if I keep it like this only like this 180 or any other amount it will show up as a curve so I have another shape which is the donut as I said this one which is the 3d uh, sorry I mean this, like a slender but 2d so if I'm going to modify list it has two radius which is I, as I said before for the 3d shape the exterior radius and interior interior radius the first one which is the exterior radius as you can see here now the second one which is the interior radius now let's go to another shape which is angon or as we call it hexagon so this one this shape it has parameters what is the parameters uh, the slides which is the number of those slides now it's six slides only I could make it four or even three or eight as I want and also it has corner radius as I said before corner radius which means like a fillet comment in AutoCAD so now it's zero or a straight corner if I'm increasing this number it become like a curve as you can see here and so on if I'm selecting the circular it will show up as a circle so I have to deselect this one if I want hexagon or angon now I'll go to another shape which is the stars or star so I will make it so after sorry after clicking by the mouse just drag stay hitting the left click drag then leave the mouse then drag again or either to the interior interior area or exterior area so I'll make it like this it has also parameters which is the fillet radius one as I said before 
to make it like this more smooth fill it radius 2 which is for the so fill it radius 1 as I said for the exterior so this is the exterior radius so if I'm selecting this one as you can see here now it becomes fillet and also I have another corners which is dos so if I'm selecting this one fill it radius 2 as you notice here now it becomes like this and also I have a radius for it and I have radius number one and radius number two which is the interior and the exterior as we explain so whenever you see radius number one and radius number two for any shape which is means interior exterior now let's go to text so I will text up my name now after clicking on the text it's just telling me click on the screen so if I'm clicking here only one click it show me a big or a huge text which is this one I will move it to the this side so I'll type any name from the modify list by going by the way I have to select the text going to modify list then select here text so I could give it any name so I will type 3d max 3d max now I will go to the parameters of it so the size I could control the size through here for the text and also I have an option called kerning which is as you can see the space between the letters and leading which is you can't see it now so because I didn't type something in the bottom so I'll type something another thing which is my name Majid so if I'm decreasing or increasing this one so it will show me the space between the upward and the bottom word as you can see here I will go to another thing which is the helix what does it as I said before sorry before going to another shape I'll select the text I'll go up here to the modifier list I'll go to rendering so if I'm selecting the rendering and enable those two option in the beginning so as you can see here it becomes like 3d or I could make 3d by another way by deselect this one and this one also I will go to modify list then I will select extrude so as you can see here it becomes like a 3d also by another by another way sorry now I have to another shape which is helix this shape is like this then I will go up then like this which is the radius now I could make it rendering I will render it as I said by going to modify list rendering I will enable those two then there is an options you have to focus up with me please because this is the last point to, for this lecture so focus please here I have for the parameters of it I have radius number one which is this radius so I could control the radius I'm always like to make it 20 this depend upon your choice so do whatever radius you want like and radius number two also I'll make it five or something like this and also I have the height for it so I could control the height this one is enough so it's 50 so I'll just type 50 exactly 50 enter now turns how many turns you want it so if I'm <coughs> increasing the turns so as you can see here <coughs> I get more turns for it it's like a spring so and also I have something called base so whenever I increase this one all those turns going to the base so as you can see if I'm increasing this one it will go to the top side if I'm decreasing this one I make it by minus result or sorry minus amount so it became to the base as you can see here so as you can see either here or here like this or like this and also I could control this one by how many turns I could decrease the number of turns like this so like this or like this or so on however I like thank you for enjoying this lecture i wish that you understand this lecture and if you have any question please type in a comment below the video thank you so much and goodbye